opportunities to discover what you're really capable of. Create those opportunities to explore new avenues. Create those opportunities to explore new avenues. Create those opportunities to explore new avenues. Stupid scrum meeting. Another boring day. Amira, a corporate slave living a 9 to 5 life. Having a stable job and a good income. My family thinks I lead an amazing life. While I feel like a caged animal having an affair with a laptop. Frustrated with this lifestyle. Trying to pursue something that makes me feel alive. Hey Vikas? Vikas? Hey. I wanted to ask you something. Sure. Do you really like working here? Nope, I don't. Then why are you working here? My kids, their needs, my loans, their payments, and so I am. Okay. Hey, Mira. Yeah? Why are you asking me this now? Never mind. Just wanted to know. Mira, did you finish coding that last project yet? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm working on the one you assigned me today morning. You should have been finished with both by now. Uh, right. Sorry. Um, I'll make sure I get it done by the end of today. How long have you been working here? Again? Three. Right. Well, try and keep up. Hey, where are you? Coming. Pooja, my bestie and a very successful fashion photographer. She's the one who doesn't give a damn about what others say and lives life on her own terms. So how was your day, babe? It was great. You had to run late today, right? How did Sam react? All okay? I felt like punching him on his face. Such an attitude he had, you know? It's like hell there every day. Well, then why don't you quit and look for another job? To be honest, I want to change my career altogether. Shruti, my other roommate. A very popular writer and one who doesn't believe in the concept of marriage and lives by her own ideologies. Hey. Girls. Let's all go out tonight for dinner. I'm so bored of eating at home. Again? As usual? Like when are you ever going to cook on your cooking turns? <sighs> okay, I need to go for a walk first. Mm. 
Hey mom, how are you? I'm fine, Mira. Are you fine? Yeah, I'm doing good. What's up, mom? So today you got a Zoom request from our relative's friend. The boy's name is Arjun. Mom, before you keep on going about this, I'm totally not interested in getting married. Okay, so please don't bring this topic ever again. What are you thinking, Mira? Why do you want to wait any longer? Give me one reason. Mom, I'm not happy with my career. I need to change my career altogether. Okay, and marriage would completely restrict my freedom to do that. And so, a definite no to marriage talks. Who said marriage would restrict your freedom, Mira? I don't know what has gotten into you recently. So, when will you get married then? I don't know, Mom. But for your sake, I'll get married when I'm thirty. Okay, whether or I find my passion or not. Okay, happy now? Yes, Mira. I'll call you later. Why so late, Miru? We have been waiting for you for so long. Damn hungry. Let's go. I'm I'm not coming today. You guys go ahead. What the hell is happening to you? Is this about your day at office? It's much more than that, Pooja. I'll talk to you later. No, you need to tell us what's going on. So much is going on, Pooja. You want to know the fact that I don't know what I'm doing with my life, or the fact that my mom is torturing me to get me married? What do you mean? Okay, now stop it. Let's discuss this while we eat. Mira, now go get ready. So Miru, what's your problem? To be honest, I'm not happy with my job. I really need to find what I like and pursue that. Then why did you do engineering? My parents wanted me to become an engineer or a doctor, so I just pursued engineering. This is so typical. Like you could have told them you didn't want to. I've never gone against my parents' wishes. You're just crazy. Okay, what do you want to do in life? That is the million dollar question I've been asking myself for so long. First of all, I'm glad you decided that you don't want to settle for something that doesn't interest you. To start with, why not try different things and see what you really like? I've been wanting to try things out. but i just didn't have the courage to go for it what if nothing works out for me or what if i don't have a passion come on mira you need to understand that this path is never going to be easy and you will be the only one in this journey you might lose motivation get exhausted do not give up if not now when will you find a passion that's true i think i should probably start working towards it then I started looking for places and I was very excited to discover new things around me. I loved every second of it. It was beautiful and so refreshing. I blocked every new experience I had on this journey and it felt liberating to be on my own. अभिषेक अभी एवरी वन हैज दैट ब्यूटिफुल क्रेजी लव इन देयर लाइफ आई थॉट आई हैज दैट ब्यूटिफुल लव विद अभी टिल आई रियलाइज वी वॉन्टेड डिफरेंट थिंग्स फ्रॉम लाइफ Hey I'm sorry it got late What's happening to you these days You have not been picking up my calls and it took me 2 weeks to talk to you and convince you about our marriage I don't know Abi I'm not happy with my job and I just had a terrible day today <sighs> It's okay Meera 
Calm down. You look so dull and weak today. We can talk about our marriage another time. It's okay. Oh my god, it's a huge commitment, Avi. I'm not ready for it right now. And after marriage, I won't have the freedom to pursue what I want. It's your right to do whatever you want, Meera. And no one is stopping you from doing that, and not me. No, Abi, I can't take any chances, okay? I I won't be truly happy until I find what I want in life. I'm sorry. I don't want to disappoint you. You know what? I think I think it's over. I don't want to keep going through this again and again, okay? Let's just let's just end this relationship. Meera, wait. I'm really sorry. I don't I don't want to go through this again. Meera, Meera, wait. And I broke up with Abi. I don't know if that was the right thing to do. But one thing I knew was that my heart was definitely not into it. I couldn't enjoy this after a point. I felt completely lonely. Realized this was not my cup of tea. Time was running out and I was back to square one. I want to freeze time. Growing older sucks. Oh god. These people do stuff only when you don't want to do anything. Okay, Mira, fix smile. And to add on to this, my mom calls me. She could turn any conversation into a freaking marriage advice. <laughs> Hello? Hey, can you pick me up now? I'll text you the address. All right. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's see what magic you can work with this. Number 1, number 2, number 3, and of course number 4. Little bit of frill, lacy but simple, and of course the halter. No, I don't think either of these work for me. I really need a different dress from the collection. These wouldn't look that great for a cover. I hear what you're saying, but these are the only collection samples that I have for you. I just don't have anything else that you might be looking for. Is there any way we can configure hey, something with um, this? Hey, quick suggestion. <clears throat> Why don't you take the top of the dress and combine with the bottom? Maybe it'll be a great great fusion. Top of this, this not one? Not too blingy, not too plain. Yeah. Okay, I'm game. Let's have a look. Exactly. You know I agree. It'll be a great outfit for the cover. Except that I don't think there's time in the schedule for modifying the dresses. But ah, oh, it looks really good. Right, I've got this. Thank See you, you tomorrow. I don't <laughs> believe you suggested that. Oh, wait. Hi, I'm the creative director of the Anchor Fashions. I love your approach. You have a really creative natural instinct for fashion. Do you have a fashion design background? No, I have it learned fashion designing before. Well, why don't you come and work for us? We'll train you. Wow, I've never actually thought about it. But thanks for the offer. This is going to be a great cover. I can't wait. Thanks, Meera. You should try fashion design. I can't decide based on today. Let's see. After a few days, I joined Bianca Fashions and got introduced to the world of fashion and designing. Creating something new from nothing was such a high for me. I went into creating my own designs and forgot the world around me. I found a retailer
provisions didn't match. Still, I went ahead and signed the contract because I wanted to give this a shot. It's very hard to balance both my work and passion at the same time. Hey Jennifer, I couldn't focus on my contract and help my team with any issues. Take care of the issue now. I'll call you back later. Okay, 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 thanks. Somehow managed to close the contract on time. I was sleeping peacefully after a while, but I didn't realize this wouldn't last long. Mira, you are fired. What? I have no choice but to fire you. But why, Sam? Our entire team is disappointed with your performance. I was Mira, just sure. calm down. Calm down. The one thing that was constant with me all the while is now gone. I couldn't believe they had found a replacement for me already. Just when I thought I had a clothing line contract to keep me going, there was deep shit waiting at my doorstep. A huge penalty for violating the clothing line contract? I was sued because the delivered products were of poor quality. Everything Mira? <laughs> Mira, what happened? What? Why are you crying? What's this? Oh my god. You'll be fine. I didn't want to see anyone or do anything. I gave up. Can't believe you had to go through this shit. Shru and I are gonna help you repay the debt. We don't want you to face any more trouble in this situation, okay? Thanks so much, guys. Means a lot to me. We're always there for you. But I still don't understand one thing. Why did the search for passion turn into a race for proving a point? Was that for your parents? I always felt that I was not good enough for my parents. And I just had to prove a point to them that they're... That their daughter can do something. But right now, I'm just done with the shitty phase and I'm going back to work for a stable income. <laughs> never mind. You guys are following your passion and you are happy with your life and you will never get what I'm going through right now. Shut up, Meera. Don't you know that most Indian parents think that marriage is the only victory in one's life? My parents gave me an ultimatum. Either become a doctor or get married sooner. They forced me too. I had to join medical college. I was not at all happy there and so I dropped out during the third year. I had huge fights with my family because I went against their will. I didn't know what I wanted in life. So I had to leave home to figure out my thing. It took me six years to get to where I am today. You can't be hurrying in your journey. You can't be dancing to others tunes, Meera. Listen, now call your mom and tell her very clearly you won't get married unless you feel like. Listen, I cannot hurt my parents. <laughs> You guys don't know I'm an adopted child. I always feel the need to satisfy them no matter what. I don't know what to do. We don't know. Is that why you can't go against the wishes? We don't want you to have any regrets in your life, Meera. Listen, we are not asking you to yell at your parents. But explain to them what you've been through and what's going on in your mind right now. If not now, you will never do it, Meera. Okay. Mom, 
Hi Meera, how are you? Even today Anita came home and asked if you were interested in getting married. You know her son, PhD in computer science and he has a green card. Are you interested? We have known them for so long Meera. Can we proceed with this alliance? We won't get a better alliance than this my dear. Please, for once stop thinking about your finding passion project. Listen mom, I'm calling you to say that I cannot get married by 30. I don't care if it's going to take me 5 or even 10 years to find what I want. What happened suddenly? This is all the respect you have for your mother. Mm-hmm. Meera, can you answer oh. me? Meera, <laughs> give me the phone. <laughs> Hi auntie. This is Pooja. How are you? Auntie, if I don't talk now, she'll never tell you what's going on. I just couldn't. Didn't have the courage to talk to her. What if she starts regretting about raising me? Maybe I should have gotten married. It's all my fault. Meera, your mom wants to talk to you. You should talk to her. I've convinced her finally. What? Mom? Meera, I'm so sorry. Mom, please don't cry. The only mistake you did was you didn't ask me the real question which was are you happy if you had taken me seriously you would have understood why i didn't want to get married and why i went through this journey Meera i have not been a good mother to you from now on i will never ever force you to get married unless you really feel like i'm really sorry dear i shouldn't have put all this pressure on you If I had been a little more understanding this wouldn't have happened. I'm sorry, Bo. It's okay, mom. It happens. I'm glad you get me now. No worry. I'll I'll call you later. Finally, you've convinced your mother. Come, let's relax for a bit. How can I relax? I have to start looking for jobs now. You know what girls? Let's go on a road trip. Let's take care of our problems once we're back. I'm not in the mood to enjoy poo. This trip is to get back your sanity, Meera. You really need a break from this chaos. Why don't you start looking for a job after a few days? Great idea. Hey, but actually it feels good to laugh. Never mind, I'll find someone like you. I wish nothing but the best for you too. Don't forget me. I beg. I remember you said sometimes I lost in love but sometimes it hurts instead sometimes I lost in love but sometimes it hurts instead hey Your voice was mind blowing. Have you learned music before? Thank you. Well, I did learn when I was in 5th grade, but I always felt insecure about singing. Are you kidding me? You should see the video I took of you last night. What? My post has got so many likes and appreciation. Did you post it? Idiot. Why did you post it? We think you should actually go ahead and pursue singing. Maybe that's your thing in life. Oh, I have been my dad is on Some 
something inside me told this might be my calling i started composing my own music and when people started recognizing my confidence grew i then started creating my own music album i loved it we're so happy to see you happy what's the next step when are we getting to dance at your wedding <laughs> before i could think of getting married i felt i owed an apology to abhi so i called him to meet so why did you call me here First of all, I'm I'm really sorry I had to break our relationship. I wanted to apologize for the pain I caused you, Abi. Frankly speaking, I never wanted to see you ever again. It took me a while to get over you. I'm in a good headspace right now and I just came here because I respect the bond we had once. Over the last couple years, I went through so many downs. I had to lose my job. I faced a huge penalty. I literally hit hit my rock bottom and it took me so long to rise gradually up from there but I went through this journey just to find what I want in my life and the last thing I wanted from this journey was to hurt anybody and I'm so sorry I had to let you down and I had to leave you without a proper explanation I didn't know that you had gone through all this I guess things happen for a reason Well, it does. But I'm in a much better space right now and really happy with my music career. You finally found out what you wanted to do. I hope you go places with it. Thanks. This journey has changed my perspective towards life. My life changed. the moment i asked myself the real question if i was happy in the end it was all worth it you get to live only once so go on and do all you want with it and make it the life you want to live